No, he didn't, but he definitely made a case that it's something that should that should warrant a debate. Uh, this is Clay Thompson, his fifth year in the league. He has shot better than 40% from three-point range his entire career. He has never shot worse than 40% from three-point range in his entire NBA career. Former 11th overall pick in the NBA draft. Uh, this dude is special, no doubt about it, reigning three-point shooting champion. And as a spot-up shooter, when you see him, when he catches fire, he's better than anybody in the game. But on a night-in, night-out basis, even though he's improved tremendously and he's religiously shot better, 46%, 47% from the field over the last two years, and obviously um, 43 and 42% from three-point range, this dude is a marksman extraordinaire. There's no doubt about it. And if you're going to have a debate about the best shooters in the game, it's him, it's Steph Curry, it's J.J. Redick. Those are the guys that you put up in there. I know Kawhi Leonard had a successful year shooting for three-point range, but he ain't on those dudes' level. As marksmen, shoot three-point snipers. These guys are just on another level. And so when I look at it, I'm still going to give the edge to Steph Curry because he does it off the dribble. He does it whether contested mm -hmm. or not. He does a lot of things. Not to say that, St that Clay Thompson doesn't do it, but he's usually catching and shooting. And obviously, um, he doesn't have the ball handling skills to shoot off the dribble the way that Steph Curry does. I'd still give Steph Curry a slight edge because he can do it under any circumstances. But if you're talking strictly spotting up or catching and shooting, Clay Thompson takes plays second fiddle to no one. It's just that Steph Curry has more of an arsenal because his jump shots can come under a myriad of circumstances, whereas Clay Thompson's three-point shooting comes off of being open, setting up, or catching and shooting off screens. That's the difference between the two. But it's, it's a one and two thing right there, and it's, and it's definitely close. Wouldn't you agree the two best shooters you've ever seen are these two guys? I would pretty much say that, but it's, it's hard for me to ignore that, Skip, because I've seen J.J. Redick uh, shoot this year yeah. as well. And J.J. Redick is no joke. No, he's, he's he shot a better percentage than these guys as well. So I can't ignore uh, that. But, but these no. two guys appear to the mind's eye, numbers aside, mm -hmm. to my eye, they appear to be the two best shooters that I've seen. I will say this, though. I've got Hall of Famers like Reggie Miller, uh, uh, Ray Allen, and others uh, who would be quick to remind me that even though they have profound respect for Klay Thompson and what he brings to the table, Klay Thompson has Steph Curry. So when when they were the number one yeah, options, you're Ray no, Allen, you're Milwaukee, stuff like that. You know, they're, they're the primary focus, which means they're facing elite True. defenders. Fair. They didn't have a Steph Curry to play with. Okay. So that is a good point on a part of a Reggie Miller, for example. It is. Now, back to my answer to this question. I do give Steph still a slight edge, but Clay can get hotter and he can get colder than Steph. Steph has always taken more threes and made a higher consistent percentage of threes than Clay has. But in Clay's case, I'm going to say it again. He scored 37 points in one quarter. And, and he made nine out of nine threes in one quarter. I, that, that's just off the charts. I, I'm not sure that Ray Allen could have done that or Reggie Miller could have done that. I'm not sure. Again, he had Steph to play off of. But in Steph's case, we know what Steph did in one game at Oklahoma City in the regular season. He made 12 threes. That's the record for a regular season game. Now, Clay has the, the playoff record. 11 threes also at Oklahoma City. Poor Oklahoma City. They, they get shot out of their own gym by these, these two guys. But in, in back to Clay, he's got a 37-point quarter. He also has a 27-point quarter, 26 and 22. Well, Steph doesn't do that, although Steph has 11 20-plus quarters, but his high is only 28, 37 to 28. He's, Steph's done it twice. So I, what I'm saying is, Clay can get hotter than anyone I've ever seen, including Reggie, including Ray. But in this case, you're right. He's just catching and shooting, catching and shooting. Steph can do it off the dribble. He can create his own threes at will when he's healthy. But he's not healthy right now. Yep. I got you.
Only two players in NBA history with 200 three-pointers in four straight years. Who are they? Steph and Clay. No surprise there. The San Francisco Chronicle sums it up with the headline, it's winner take all. But which team has more pressure? That is the question next. We'll get into